So the news you missed last week was kind of a big freaking deal. But don't worry, give me like 60 seconds, I'll catch up. Hey, I'm John B. I tell the truth about mortgage and finance, that's why you follow me. Now before we get into that, let's take a quick look at the Charlotte market. Here in the Queen City, we're looking at a median sales price of about $427,000. Sales in June were about $1,206, plus days on market is only about $33, so not too bad. Now let's get into the big stuff. So last month, we only added about 209,000 jobs. Now that's significantly less than we expected. And that's actually good news for a couple of reasons. Number one, it means we're not seeing a whole bunch of layoffs and a bunch of people losing their jobs, and that's great. Number two, and most importantly, it means that the labor market is starting to cool off. It means the economy isn't running as hot as it was, and it's the number two indicator for the Federal Reserve to decide whether or not they're going to increase interest rates anymore. And here's the number one indicator, the CPI or inflation report. And that came in absolutely fantastic last week. We have dropped from our peak of 9% last year all the way down to 3%. That means prices of most of the things we buy are only 3% higher than they were this time last year. And that's a big deal because we're almost at the Fed's target of 2%. So we'll probably get one more rate hike at their meeting later this month, but that might be the last of it. There's even talk of a soft landing where we don't hit a recession, and nobody thought that was possible. And because of all this good news, and despite the ugliness on Friday, we actually had rates come down last week. But we're not out of the woods yet, so stay tuned, give me a follow, and I'll keep you posted.